Steve Sanson, President of Veterans and Politics. I've been coming to these commission meetings since 1998 when I first sued this body for going against the master plan. My commission at the time was Aaron Kenny. Since I became president of Veterans of Politics, I've been working nonstop to educate the public and expose corruption for no pay. Fast forward to the last county commission meeting on the more cops. I became extremely passionate about this bill because of the death of Gulf War veteran Stanley Gibson. Coincidentally, Gibson served in the same war as myself. I personally have been, I personally have seen my share of death and destruction. When you see a man take his last breath, it makes you humble. After intense investigation into Metro's training, lack of the escalation, shoot first mentality, and excessive spending of, of our tax dollars, we decided to take this bill on. I can't remember when all of you started your way into the Nevada politics with the exception of Commissioner June Kiliani. Commissioner Kiliani had been involved in Nevada politics longer than any of her colleagues as a former Nevada Assemblywoman. It is said that a true leader is a person that can stand alone. The only one that stood its ground and was unpopular in comparison to her colleagues. I would like to publicly thank her. Commissioner Skywin Brager, former Clark County School Board trustees, heard me rant about why the school district could name a school after a flower but not a fallen veteran. Commissioner Brager, she needs to return phone calls. Commissioner Kirkpatrick, we, we endorsed her on, the, on her very first run on a Nevada assembly in the steps of the Review Journal. Commissioner Weekly, who's not here, and Brown, Las Vegas City Councilman, heard me testify against Tobin for using the American flag for profit. Commissioner Weekly has been profiled by law enforcement. Commissioner Brown has a son that is proudly serving our country in the United States Army. I listened to Commissioner Brown when he, when he said at the last meeting that Metro's fiscal affairs, that he's on Metro's fiscal affairs and the books are open. But I can't remember when my organization first brought up the fact that Metro was paying over $1.2 million per month in rent for the new headquarters building, and almost all of you were surprised by it. Since my organization brought the information to this body, the county purchased the building that took the county out of a 30-year lease. From where I stand, my organization saved the county taxpayers millions of dollars in interest. A forensic audit is a lot different than Metro's bookkeepers. Commissioner Sisolak, former Nevada Board Regents and also recipient of multi-million dollar lawsuit against Clark County for the use of airspace. I always wondered why airspace was worth 10 times more than the life of a human being, and I'm referring to Stanley Gibson. I'm bringing all of this to your attention to remind you that when you first ran for elected office, the only one that was standing behind you were the voters, not big business. Stay humble, not entitled, and be that public servant you were when you first ran for office. Thank, Thank you. your comments. Anyone else wishing to address the board during this time? Anyone else?